Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at the 2023 Central Supply Catalog update from Mongoose. I've been excited about this book. Uh, it came out uh, just before Christmas. Uh, I was on my little hiatus, so this is the first chance I've had to actually show it on the channel. Uh, this is a fun read. I did not have the uh, Central Supply update from a few years ago, so this will not be a comparison video. I won't be showing you what the old one had versus what the new one has. I'm only going to be showing what the new one has. I'm really excited about going through this. This is a fantastic read. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So 2023 uh, Central Supply Catalog Update. Here from Mongoose 2nd Edition on page 121. The 2023 Central Supply Catalog Update. I've been excited about this guy since I first heard it was coming out. I This came out just before Christmas time. I did not get a chance to do a video on this because that was when I was taking a little break from the channel and uh, enjoying Christmas with my family, but now I'm back. So this is uh, just a nice little book. This is a very fun read. Uh, I always read through these and then I go back and I digest the stuff. There's a difference, anybody will know, between reading gaming stuff and then digesting gaming stuff. So this is going to be kind of a raw first look as I read through the book. This is by Gear Lineskog, and I apologize if I got your name wrong. I, I did pronounce it phonetically. I hope that's correct. Uh, it's a really well-written book. Some really nice stuff in here. Uh, pretty much all the gear you're going to need for your Traveler game, whatever era you're playing. There we go. Some really nice art. Nice uh, mood-setting art. I like it. Kind of the underbelly of a starport, maybe, or a star town. And then we get the introduction as to what it is, and then the availability of the equipment. It's really up to you as the referee how available this equipment is. Uh, it depends on what you want in your campaign. I personally don't want my guys walking around in any kind of uh, heavy armor or battle dress or anything like that. So, you know, it's up to you. It's what you want to do with your game. Chuck talks about the black market and restricted military use. Fabrication chambers. Yes, 3D printers. We have them in the far future. Oh, wait, we have them today. Yes, 3D printers. They're addressed in here. It's kind of neat. The ship's locker itself, I've done a video on the ship's locker. I'm a firm believer in the ship's locker. Uh, don't want to write down a detailed inventory for your ship. You just go ahead and you have the ship's locker. And anything you would ordinarily have in the, on the, aboard the ship, you have in the locker. You know, 50 feet of hose, things like that. And then proto and retro tech. And it talks about how some tech will be more advanced and less expensive. And then, of course, less advanced and more expensive. And then we get to armor. And there's some nice illustrations of the armor. There's the armor chart itself. And I personally really enjoy this. I like the personal energy shield that's brought out here. Uh, that's something that I'm going to be... Uh, my, I'm going to mention to my travelers in my campaign and uh, let them know that it's out there for the meager sum of 320,000 credits. So... Uh, they've come a, a little flush with their last uh, bit of piracy. I'm not going to be surprised if somebody picks one of these up. It's all the different types of armor, all very well illustrated. The Protect suit, anybody who saw the uh, second John Wick film, that's a good example of a Protect suit. And then Archaic armor, always good to know about. I love Traveler mixing the various uh, Archaic ar Archaic armor, archaic technology with the future technology. It's one of the things that drew me to Traveler way back when and keeps me coming back to Traveler. A nice illustration of the different types of armor. And then general mods that you can make to your armor. That's a nice touch in this. Uh, and it gets to a point where it talks about under the battle dress and such, it gives you slots to fill, which is kind of neat. Anybody who remembers the old Gamma World uh, battle armor, you always had slots to fill in Gamma World armor. So there all kinds of good stuff there. Protective suits, civilian protective suits. And there you go. Just There's so much in here that's useful. Uh, rescue suit. Your ship's caught unawares and you have passengers aboard. There's your rescue suit. Uh, military suits. And this is where you start getting into having all the slots to fill. So you can have your powered suit become a little bit better. Uh, grab enhanced powered plate. Uh, grab belts attached. All kinds of stuff. Battle dress. I love battle dress. Again, one of the things I first fell in love with with Traveler is battle dress. I love the idea. And uh, I know it's not necessarily original to Traveler. I don't care. I first encountered it in Traveler back in 81. 
uh, and I fell in love with the idea through Traveler. So it'll always be Burma to me. Okay. That's an old line from Seinfeld, by the way. She'll always be Burma to me. Okay. Some more battle dress, artillery battle dress, combat pioneer battle dress, command battle dress, logistics, Psy Commando Battle Dress. Yes, we get some Psy Enhanced stuff in here. Because why not? And the modifications you can do, and this is where the slot stuff comes in. One slot for that, two slots for that. Your suit will have so many slots. This is how much it costs to fill that slot with this particular thing. Just very well done. I just, I really enjoyed this. Now we get to augmentations. These are augmentations that you yourself can have done. So this can be part of your person if you choose to. And it talks about how uh, you need medical treatment while you have these augmentations. And, uh, of course, how they react to electromagnetic pulses. So you have different you know, Invisitech, natural-looking, ruggedized, self-repairing. You get torso stuff, which is all temperature, epidermal symbiote to keep you comfortable in virtually any temperature, altered appearance, Cardio trigger detonator. The bomb is linked to your heartbeat. Your heartbeat stops, the bomb goes off. Genetic aquamorph adaptations. There's all kinds of stuff. You can make your traveler, or just as importantly, NPCs your travelers encounter, be anything they want. Muscular bridging. You can improve your strength through technology. Physical augmentation. You can add one to your strength, dex, and endur or endurance. Uh, and then two and three, depending on your tech level and how much you're willing to spend. Five mega credits, that's five million credits for a plus three to strength, dex, or endurance. Depends on the traveler you're trying to build. All kinds of good stuff. Oslan cyber claws, a combat arm, lots of science fiction brought in here. You've got the razor claws. I, I would allow Wolverine type claws. I have no problem with that. Uh, weapon implant in an arm. Uh, stuff for your head. Ballistic tracking sense, cockpit sensory suite, uh, enhanced vision, all kinds of stuff. There's just so much goodness in here. And it's nice because this stuff is, is augmented, not augmented, but it, it's been written with an eye toward what we can do. The old the other book, the Central Supply Catalog, was written about six years ago. And uh, I know what was in it, and I know a lot about it. Uh, I just, I don't own a copy of it, but I have seen it. And I know that this book is taking into account a lot of stuff that has come into our tech world in the last six years. And I imagine in six years, this book will need some updating. It's amazing how fast stuff is moving these days. Here you go, Wafer Jack. You want to be the agent of the Imperium. This is your chance. Communications. These are different communication devices you can have. The ever-popular ComDot. It's the one I kind of start everybody out in my campaign with and then make them buy upgrades. Holographic projectors. Mobile comms transceivers and they do kind of address cell phones in this a little bit that's uh the transceiver uh mason transceivers are bigger uh they're just standalone communication device like a two-way radio but cell phones get addressed a little bit in this section too computers and software how small computers are i just i really like this i like this for my for the playability it brings to my table uh, the expert package, skill packages, I like that, how much they all cost. This is a great way for your travelers to spend uh, just a, a, a session zero in the middle of the campaign uh, where they just go ahead and they upgrade their characters now that they've got a little cash and they, they want to add different things. I just really enjoy this. Various electronics, binoculars, cameras, chemi view goggles. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I always geek out over the traveler equipment. I always have. For me, this is so much of the future world that is traveler. Just having your hands on this stuff and, you know, a little laser ring, a ring laser, that's just cool. I imagine you don't have a lot of hair on that particular knuckle if you use that thing, but what the heck. Various sensors. Kind of love a good densitometer. Metal detector, side detector. Home comforts. This was kind of neat. This is stuff that you would have on your ship or wherever you're living. Uh, an auto laundry, an auto bar, an auto chef. I like the alien cosplay kit. Cosplay made it here. That's kind of cool. Your bed. Do you want to sleep in zero G? Yeah, just buy it. And then a disguise kit, an environment replicator, a flash tray. You want to destroy that 
tiny little incriminating evidence, you just toss it in the flash tray. Uh, holographic play table, all this stuff has appeared in various science fiction things since Star Wars, really. Star Wars has the holographic game table. Uh, let the Wookiee win. We got home theater, miniatures war game. I like that idea. Uh, and you, I'm sure you could buy packages and upgrades. And going on through here, a sphere of solace to relax you. A little white noise. VR goggles, VR immersion chair. Now we get to medical and care supplies. Very much on any traveler's mind is, what am I going to do when I get wounded? Well, here's your medical care, your cryobirth, field surgical kit, all this stuff. And it's all upgraded to reflect second edition, current second edition standards of uh, play and, and rules. I This is just a really good book. Drugs and pharmaceuticals. I did a video a few months ago about drugs and traveler. I may have to do kind of an addendum to that because there's a lot more here to choose from medicine and drugs that I could uh, include in that video. So I may be taking a look at that. And we even get it, rules for addiction and withdrawal. If you want to build your game that somebody's addicted to a combat drug, hey, that could be a really interesting game to build. Survival gear. Your ever famous grav belt. Love grav belts. Again, my first exposure to those. Traveler. Grav parachute. Atmospheric protection. Breather masks. Environmental masks. Protective suit. All kinds of stuff in here. I like there's even an ice axe. Ice axes aren't any high kind of high tech thing. It's tech level three for crying out loud. It's here. It's a useful tool when you need it. We have skis. We have all kinds of good stuff here. Goggles and shades. General survival gear. Duct tape. Yes, duct tape made it. Anybody who watched the old Mythbusters, duct tape. Flare launchers. All kinds of stuff. And you can... Do the uh, the occasional adventure where they're uh, trapped on the planet for whatever reason, and they've only got their survival gear with them, and they have to signal a passing ship. And how do they do that? And that you can they can cobble things together using various skills. So this this book kind of helps you write adventures right there. Purification tablets, rope, just plain old rope. Why not? Different housing options. And what you can do with your housing options. Marine environments. All kinds of stuff. I just, I love this book. I had so much fun reading it. Uh, I picked it up about three or four days before Christmas. And I really enjoyed going through this. Antimatter battery. Fish and micro reactor. And a lot of this too I've used. I've used a lot of traveler stuff in Gamma World and vice versa. And that is true for this book as well. I've already thought of a few Gamma World things I'm going to pull uh, take from here and put into my Gamma World game. Uh, we're going to be playing Gamma World at my table in about another month. Uh, that's a very popular game with our group. Solar panel array, vacuum environments. How do you stay alive in a vacuum? Well, here's how. You got your rescue bubble, a thrust pistol. Now wilderness housing. Habitat modules. Tools! Oh, plain old tools. Who needs a high-tech version of those? Well, you do. Uh, some of the different things, these higher tech versions of the uh, regular tools can really make a difference in your survival. So just, oh, just, just so much fun. Tool laser, weaponry, new weapon traits. We get a bunch of new weapon traits here. Dangerous fire, let's see, artillery, dangerous fire, one use, silent, smasher, and very dangerous. That's cool. I think a few of these were in the original, uh, but who cares? They're represented here. It's all in one place. There we go. Archaic weaponry. And the uh, archaic weapons as depicted are a little more practical than some of the ones in the core rulebook. I like that. I appreciate that. And who doesn't like a good set of brass knuckles? And of course, the ever popular monofilament garrote. When you absolutely have to be sure. We get down to slug throwers. Auto pistol, body pistol. Duck's foot pistol, the flechette pistol. Again, when you have to absolutely be sure. Gauss pistol. Gotta love a good Gauss pistol. I was introduced to Gauss technology through Traveler as well, and remains one of the enduring things I love. Gauss assault gun. Gauss submachine gun. Lots of Gauss in here. And nice pictures of everything we're talking about. 
No more wondering what the stuff looks like. That was one of the biggest challenges in Traveler in the uh, 80s was there weren't a lot of physical pictures of this stuff. There wasn't a lot you could just set in front of the players and say, it looks like this. Uh, that, of course, has been cured in this wonderful age we're in, but uh, it's still nice to have it here in one book. There we go. All kinds of different rifles. And then we come to the archaic weapons. Why not? They still have some use. The old bow sniper. Nice and quiet. The second Rambo movie where he's running around with his super bow. Okay. And nice depictions of the weapons there. So, just really nice. Artillery weapons. There you go. Here's your different artillery. Inv infantry mortar. All kinds of cool stuff in here. And then vehicle mounted weapons. All the way to black powder cannon. <laughs> That's so cool. Rockets, missiles, and bombs. Wow. This is so much stuff that you need for your traveler toolkit. And then weapon accessories. All the way through there. Psy enhanced targeting. I love that idea. I enjoyed reading that. And specialized ammunition. Again, when you absolutely positively have to be sure. And there's the index. So you can find everything. And the back page. And we're out. Now, this will be out in physical print, I think, in April. It's on the website. I'll attach a link to Mongoose's website for this guy. It's only available in PDF right now. Uh, completely worth buying. This can add to your Traveler game tonight. So I, I enjoyed this book immensely. I love equipment books. I'm a, a total nerd for equipment books. So I recommend this one. It's very well written, very well presented. Uh, minimal amount of typos and, and nothing at all to detract from your enjoyment. So that's all I've got to say today on page 121. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you heard and saw, please like and subscribe. I have an active Patreon going with rewards, so please take a look at that. And uh, that's all I've got to say, so I'll see you next time on page 121.